Zion Williamson has been deemed unfit to play? No way. Hey guys, welcome back to Triple Double. Today we're looking at the fattest NBA player ever. Basketball is a sport filled with genetic freaks. The average height for an NBA player is roughly 6 foot 7, about half a foot taller than the average NHL player. And most of these vertically blessed athletes are in pretty good shape, because after all, basketball players are constantly running around and working up a sweat. I mean, for that, just watch a post-game interview and you'll see all the sweat rolling down their faces. The New York City Daily News reported that NBA players can run upwards of 2.72 miles per game, which is more than twice the distance the average NFL cornerback and the wide receiver runs, and much more than baseball players, although there's really no surprise there. So without that running, you'd think it would be impossible to be out of shape at the highest level of this sport, but somehow players, and some of the best players of all time, have managed to pull it off. And one of those players is a recent injury into the NBA, Zion Williamson. Zion's a pretty decent player, and so far as anyone who has watched him play knows that he is quite a heavy player. His registered weight is 284 pounds. Even with that, he can pull off some good plays and can also rock the court just as much as any other light player can do. Zion was touted as a potential generational superstar during his brief but dominant stint at Duke. In the NBA, he has shown some potential as well. I mean, who can forget the dunk in the playoff match against the Sacramento Kings? But the power forward has largely failed to live up to expectations since taking his talents to New Orleans, thanks in no small part to the injuries he's had to grapple with after making the jump to the NBA. So let's talk about it. It was revealed during the team's media day that Zion underwent surgery to repair a fractured right foot during the offseason. Williamson is said to have suffered the injury prior to the start of the 2021 NBA Summer League. The Pelicans were initially hopeful that his timeline would, quote, get him back on the court in time for the regular season. But the Pelicans announced on Friday, November 26th, that Williamson had been cleared to participate in full team activities. They also included a note that Williamson played full court 4-4 four four in practice, which seemed like a huge step in the right direction for the one-time All-Star. Unfortunately, news broke on December 2nd that Williamson was experiencing soreness in his foot, delaying his return, and now the team has announced that he has been shut down altogether. The Pelicans' official release statement on December 11th said, quote, after experiencing persistent soreness in his right foot, Zion Williamson underwent medical imaging which showed a regression in the bone healing of his fifth metatarsal. As a result, the volume and intensity of his training would be reduced for an extended period of time to help allow for further bone healing. Additional updates will be provided as warranted. On December 16th, the franchise announced that, quote, following a consolation and a further evaluation with Dr. Richard Ferkel of the Southern California Orthopedic Institute yesterday, Zion Williamson received a biologic injection into the fracture site to stimulate bone healing in his right foot. As a result, Zion will be limited to low impact activities for an extended period of time and will be reevaluated in four to six weeks, meaning the next update will come in mid to late January 2022. It appears that we are further away from Williamson's return than originally expected, and with the Pelicans sitting towards the bottom of the Western Conference, there is not much of a rush to get the young star back on the floor. Obviously, during these tough times, he has had to go through a lot. I mean, imagine getting your dream job and then not being able to actually do anything due to circumstances you actually don't have any control over, which is pretty much the amount of stress Zion must have been going through now with all that being said. Zion obviously was staying at home getting the rest he needs, and as far as I know, when you have a foot injury, you kind of have to stay in your bed or on the couch until you feel better because it's hard to walk, obviously. So Zion being pretty inactive for such a long time will probably subdue some consequences. And in this, the consequence is him getting fat and unfit to play. Recently, if you've been following NBA Twitter, you already know about this drama. Zion Williamson's name has been making the rounds on the internet for, well, being round. The New Orleans Pelicans Ford was seen rocking a red tracksuit in a recent sideline appearance where he looked rather big. I mean, just take a look at the photo yourself and you know what I mean. A video also has emerged regarding his alarming weight increase. This clip that has recently emerged shows Zion warming up on the court ahead of the Pelicans clash with the New York Knicks and he looks quite a bit overweight, I'm not gonna lie. The photo actually was tweeted by Steve Helwick who started a pretty hefty debate on the 21 year old's weight on Twitter. And this is kinda sad because looking at some of the replies and retweets, things were getting a little offensive. Due to which, Helwick opted to delete the tweet he sent out 
but the picture went viral due to the criticism Williamson was subjected to as a result, and he made a valid point when he noted that he's still a 21 year old guy who's got plenty of issues to deal with already. But there's no question that Zion has had a significant weight gain compared to where he was during his first two seasons or during his lone year at Duke. But the real question is, exactly how heavy has he gotten? I mean, if you think about it, Shaq was also a pretty heavy player. However, in a recent appearance on ESPN writer Zach Lowe's Low Post podcast, ESPN insider Tim McMahon actually revealed the Dallas Mavericks star Luka Doncic's weight. This discussion eventually trickled into some insight into what he's been hearing regarding the Pelican star's reported weight. Quote, what was the figure you just gave? Lowe asked McMahon about Luka's weight. Quote, 260 plus. He's gotta stop doing that. McMahon responded, quote, what does Zion weigh then? I know he weighs more than that, but 260, end quote, Lowe said, imagining how heavy the Pelican star would compare to Doncic. Quote, the number I've heard from several places on Zion is 70 pounds higher than 260. So I'll let you do the math on that, McMahon reported. Are you kidding me? If you don't want to do the math, I've got you covered. If Tim McMahon's sources are correct, then Zion would weigh 330 pounds at the moment. That's more than Prime Shaquille O'Neal's reported 325 playing weight, while being half a foot shorter than him. This math of mine actually turned out to be true. When Jake Fisher of Bleacher Report confirmed that Williamson has reached well over 300 pounds during the summer, and turned up to the Pelicans training camp 11 kilos heavier than he was in his rookie season. That's not exactly great news for the Pelicans and their fans, if true. I mean, I'm not trying to be offensive here, and you're free to jump into the comments to accuse me of fat shaming, but I'd ask you to do the same to Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, JJ Redick, and the many other former NBA players who voiced their concern over his inability to stay in playing shape. So the noticeably heavy Williamson turned plenty of heads even in the team's administrations as well, and last month a report claimed the Pelicans revamped their in-house culinary program in an attempt to help him lose some pounds. The problem here actually is not him getting fat, but it's more focused on him getting back into shape for the injury that he's He's been nursing. I mean, he has to take some rest for it. While he is taking the rest, it doesn't mean he shouldn't increase his weight to such a point that it is hard for him to actually nurse the injury back to life. With that being said, when you consider that he's getting paid $10 million a year to play basketball, it's easy to understand why Pelicans fans and also the members of the organization and media are less than thrilled with his current status. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Let us know what are your thoughts on the young star getting overweight in the comments down below. Do you think he'll go back down to where he originally was? Do you think he'll never be as good as he was? Let us know. I want to hear your thoughts. We hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any of our videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.